women in the Tantra tradition. Goddess Parvati asks Lord Shiva this curious question about women worshipping. Should she herself worship the woman or should the male seeker? Yoni Tantra, v. 5.23 Shiva replies thus, the Yoni, one which makes up the whole world, Jaganmayi, should be worshipped by the male seeker and the linga, the male organ, should be worshipped. By the mere worship of these two ones becomes liberated while in the body. Does a woman participate in worship, or is she only the object of worship? If she does worship, what or whom should she worship? Parvati's question here presumes the worship of the yoni, that is, the worship of the female embodied as a womb or vulva, as the normative practice. Her question seems to suggest that women and men, as equal actors in tantric ceremonies, would perform the same normative ceremony of worshipping the yoni. So she asks if a woman participates in the tantric ceremony the same way that a man does, where he would worship a woman. Shiva replies to the contrary, and the question disappears. In the tantric tradition, the woman is considered to be higher than the man so far as the tantric initiations are concerned. The frame of a woman, her emotions, and her psychic evolution is definitely higher than that of a man. Awakening of the spiritual force, that is, kundalini, is much easier in the body of a woman than in the body of a man. Apart from this, the psychic being of a woman is highly charged with spiritual awareness. The external expression that you will find in a woman or in a girl, love for beauty, tenderness, sympathy, understanding, are expressions of her inner state. Sadguru Sri Param Eswaran who is the master of the living goddess tradition,